What's going on you guys? This is New York Adventurer 1994 here and today is Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023 and we are officially done with the first round of the NHL 2023 playoffs. It's been a rough night for my team. We just got eliminated in game 7 against the Devils and we are now in the second round, which starts tonight. And now we have the Seattle Kraken against Dallas Stars. The Florida Panthers against the Maple Leafs. The Golden Knights versus the Oilers. And the Hurricanes versus the Devils. Yeah, so... The Hurricanes and the Devils both eliminated a New York team. And now they get to face each other. This is going to be a red, black, and white playoff series due to their color theme. On both of the, on both of the teams. The Devils are expected to play in Raleigh tomorrow. And I, I bet it's really going to be a strong one because the Devils have been pretty solid lately. And believe it or not, the Devils were overdue for a for an advance to the second round. Because it's been like over 10 years since they last done that. Like 11 years ago. When they lost to the 2012 Stanley Cup to the Kings. That was like the last time we ever saw them advance this far. I'm not saying the Devils going to win the Cup. I'm saying that this is the first time in over a decade the Devils advanced to another round. Which we, which they were overdue for. They needed it more than the Rangers did because, of their, because the Devils had a long drought. They only popped into a wild card in 2018, but it didn't really do anything for them. They did stay strong throughout that season, though. But they got kicked out by the Tampa Bay Lightning. And they missed the playoffs for several more years. But now they're even stronger and they advance to the next round. So, we're going to see what happens. Yeah, but I, w I won't be surprised if the Hurricanes take this one, due to how strong they are. What we saw in the Devils this year, it was like basically what we saw in Boston this year. Who looked like they were cut bound after getting 60 65 wins this season. So, let's talk about the Panthers and the Maple Leafs. The Panthers still are still new to the playoffs, even though it's been three years already. And they advanced to the next round last year, but it's amazing that they were able to eliminate Boston Sunday night, who were expected to be cut bound. That was a big surprise for us. The Panthers showed how strong they were in the playoffs. That was a that was a big surprise. And the Leafs were desperate to to advance to another round too. It's been o it's been almost twenty years since they last did that. So both these teams have been desperate for the last several years and one of them is gonna get lucky and advance to the conference finals. The funny thing is that all these teams you see right here did not make the 2015 playoffs altogether, but here they are now. Yeah, there's a lot of people pissed off in New York about these teams being eliminated so early. 
I've been hearing a lot of people getting angry about the Rangers, saying stuff like get rid of the coach or Panarin's not doing that. Well, it's the playoffs. A lot could happen. Better luck next year to them. So, Vegas is back in the playoffs after missing in 2022. And they'll be facing the Oilers. This is their second Canadian team in a row that they're facing this playoff series. And the Oilers once again eliminated the the Kings in a back-to-back -back series. In back-to-back -back seasons. And this is a back-to-back -back series and back-to-back -back seasons also. Where the Leafs play against the Lightning. Yeah. It looks like Vegas was too much for Winnipeg. I can tell you that. They were strong enough to eliminate the Jets from the playoffs. Yeah, the Jets haven't really advanced to another round since 2018. When they came back after missing three years. The Jets aren't really that strong enough in the playoffs. Oh wait a minute. It was in 2021 when they last advanced to the next round. And 2022 they, they did not make the playoffs. But the Jets are not really strong enough to advance to another round. Sorry, I I have my I had everything mixed up. I'm gonna have to look again at this one. And it looks like the Wild has choked again in our first round. They have not advanced to another round since 2015. And they missed the playoffs back in 2019. And, and they continue to choke once more in the playoffs. Yeah, the, the Wild's like hard to watch in the playoffs because something always has to go wrong with them. And this has been a tenth series. The Seattle Kraken has made the playoffs for the first time in their history. And they took down the Colorado Avalanche who were the Stanley Cup champions last year. They really surprised all of us. They went from looking really bad in their first season and they got really better. And they were able to dominate the Avalanche in the first round. So yeah, I'll be keeping an eye on the, I'll be, despite the fact that my team's eliminated, I'll be keeping an eye on the playoffs for you guys, and I guess that's it. Bye.